Hi everyone, Justine from our sewing room again. Um, just following on from yesterday's binding attachment video, um, I just want to now show you how I joined the neckline to make it um, all around. And I'll just give you a couple of tips um, and hope that helps. Okay, so what we want to do here is we've now got our open neckline and we've got the end of our binding here. What I find easy to do is to actually just take the scissors and cut the binding in line with the fabric so that we've then got a nice neat finish. Um, so what I then do is with my right sides together of my binding, I actually line that up first. So I just put the edge of the binding, both edges of the binding together. As you can see, I've got the outside edge and the inside edges all nice and matching. Uh, what I'll then do is just take a pin and I actually just stick a pin in like that, right on the edge as you can see, so that's anchoring in the edges of the binding. I then take a second one and do it for the same inside edge. So I've also then got my two pins anchoring my binding right in. Um, if I like, Sometimes I can also take a third one and just put it in the fabric so that the fabric doesn't move. So you've basically now got your three pins with your binding all nice and lined up. I found feeding it through the serger without this step actually causes a big mess. So if it, it, it won't take long once you've practiced. Um, what I then do is actually run it over on my machine. So you'll see here on my machine, I have actually got my machine set with a really long stitch length. Um, so that's actually a basting stitch, um, which I am then going to run on the inside of the seam allowance. Um, now, because we've also got our pins facing this way, we'll be right to run straight over them and we can pull them out after we've finished sewing. So I'm just gonna run a little basting stitch straight through that. Okay, so after I've run my basting stitch through, I'll just turn it inside out to check it. Now I'm pretty happy with how that lined up. Um, obviously you can see that that's pulled a little bit, but that's my binding at the end. Um, my fabric is just a bit stretchy, so, um, but I'm pretty happy with how the top's lined up. Um, and that's all basted, and as you can see, I've only just basted that certain amount. Now we're just ready to run the seam through our serger. So doing this one handed and looking through a viewfinder so I may have to stop and start a bit just so that you can all see when we get to the end we can see our basting is going to hold that nicely in position and I'll just run straight over my seam allowance okay now we've surged the end of the seam overlocked that it's all stayed in place We've got a really nice finish there um, now another little tip here that I like to do because you're going to end up with the fluffy bits of fabric which you may be able to see just at the top um, what I then do is push that seam towards the shoulder uh, turn it over and then again with this seam here I just run the two bits over on my sewing machine so I'll just actually follow I'll follow this seam here along and this second seam here I'll just follow along on my sewing machine and that will make that seam just sit nice and flat and you can sort of tuck that end in and then just trim those excess bits off if that bothers you if it doesn't bother you you can just trim that off and just leave it like that um, I just find it makes it a nice neat finish on the garment if you just run the top seams so I hope that helps and um, then you've got a beautifully attached neck binding